Welcome back everyone to Ludus Infinium. Today we are doing Vermeer. The I, you could call it second to last video or second to last planet in the series. That being said, if you like the video, leave a like, share some love in the comments, share it around with your friends. If you want to see more RPG and RTS games, or maybe some more 40k lore, subscribe and check out some of my other playlists and videos. That being said, let's get into it. Let's get deeper into it. Birds, birds. Assholes. <laughs> oh shit! I have something stuck in my tire. Oh no, it's just a oh shit, big guy. And this is why I hate driving the fucking makeup. I forget what the other one you get in Mass Effect 2 is called, but it's just as bad from an entirely different direction. I think it has no armor on it, whereas this one just doesn't want to go anywhere in a normal way. Find the off button to your fucking mouth, Rex. I mean, I'm sorry, sweetie. You'll always be my favorite. Good. What if I'm not ready to go yet? Well, I mean, did, did you ever take my feelings into consideration that I might not be emotionally ready to go? I'm sorry, Rex. That was not because of you. I'm just going through some stuff right now. It wasn't because of you. I'm sorry. Motherfucker. How about you don't? How about you just fucking don't? Thanks for the help, jackass. I mean, Joker or something. Let's just park it right here, nice and clean and half ass destroyed, and run up the stairs. 
Uh, yelling at your enemy while shooting them distracts them. My cat is actually looking at me like I've lost my damn mind. I don't think she's very far off either. Except you're big nice. Oh, I mean, um, I'm sorry, Rex. I really need to stop doing that, don't I? Oh shit, I'm still recording. Um, this this is awkward. Um. Maybe I shouldn't have said that while trying to record something. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. Oh, your parents met at you too? Hey, only I can ground Joker. He's my bitch. You understand me? The We're not distracting that bitch just to see them make a. So, what are we supposed to do now? Eat shit and die. Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, good. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we request. <laughs> we are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the council to send a fleet. I'm better than a fucking fleet, bitch. I'm Commander Damn Shepard. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. I wonder if he actually did or not. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Gath are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Oh, he's pissed. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Not if I suck him off first. He'll be fine after that. Don't worry about him, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Okay. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. My balls are bigger. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Commander Rentola. Commander Rentola. Greetings, human. I don't care. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with some- I want to buy shit from you. Well, okay then. This 
isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I I have a gun that should unblur that line pretty fucking quick. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Really? This is your solution, Rex? Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. It won't be your balls he cut off, it'd be your heads. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm allergic to touchy-feely moments. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Oh, so you actually thought of something. Holy shit. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, Sminky the facility is, is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Oh, good. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. I like it. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. Damn it. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I like sneaking in the back. <laughs> I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due mm. respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? This is my decision, not yours. Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Who do I want to live? Let's see. Do I want the one who continues to stay just about as boring as possible? Or do I want the one who wasn't apparently transitioning, but ends up transitioning? <laughs> oh, that's going to be a hard call. Um, I always take Ashley. I always let Blanco. Ashley live, so. You're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? No. Ah. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. I hope you die. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Aww.
Don't make me sneeze again. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit him harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden bats. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped Arachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop staring. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. I love that. I will say that is one of my favorite parts of Mass Effect 1 is that speech. Because holy shit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, this is what I love about the Mass Effect series is when it chooses to go deep specific at specific times it goes as deep Contact. as it fucking You're can commander. it's fine let's move good we'll start our push we'll try to make it to the AA guns but it might be up to you to finish the job and commander if you see any way to undermine their defenses we could definitely use the help shadow is on the ground repeat shadow is on the ground but um Lieutenant Alenko with E Gordon Runovai J Echo team move I to get some attention. But yeah, like that for me Fire was um on team. We can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. That for me was just really fucking cool. For those who don't actually know, I do come from a military family, so uh, when it comes to military stuff, it ends up hitting me a little harder than it would Let's some people. The We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off man of I think I just... Nope, I'm going the right way. But, um... Uh... I will go that way, because it says there are enemies that way. They're calling sat strikes. Hey, Edo, watch for comm stations. Oh, they come. Do you see anything? But, um... Like, as a good for instance, I... can't watch certain military movies. And I outright refuse to play 90% of military based shooter games. It's just something that's really hard for me to do. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Let's see here. Oh look, a friend. Is this where I need to go? Fuck, do I need to go? Okay, so I am in the right spot.
Okie dokie. How do you know if we're getting close or not? We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us. But they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Yeah, no. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. I still haven't decided if I'm going to keep Caden or Ashley yet. some Salarians. Don't know why that was important, but okay. Well, is someone out there? Shh. No. Good, there you are. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? I'm not going to hurt you yet. Granathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! <laughs> I like the way I think too, Rex. That's why I think that way. Another fucking elevator. Yay. Should have been called Mass Elevators, not Mass Effect. But, oh well. Oh, look. Shepard, look over here. It's another beat. Please, sir.
get the feeling something bad is about to happen. No shit, Rex. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. BUM BUM BUM! A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Are you sure? Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the path as we desire. Sure. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Well, we pissed it off. I'm good at pissing things off. Commander, we got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. Yep, now we gotta rush. There's a Reaper coming that wants my butthole, and my butthole belongs to Rex. I mean... Uh, my, my butthole is sacred and the Reaper cannot have it. Yeah, they're turning to your position, do you know? Looks like Shadow kicked the sensitive spot. Yeah, we kinda did. Damn it. Thought I was keeping a better eye on that. Oh well.
turn. That was, um, unique. That's it. I have found the other chip. Be a great big kaboom. Alright! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Okay. Hurry the hell up. <coughs> oh no, I think I'll still probably save Ashley. I really don't like Caden. Caden sucks. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. Why are you yelling at her when you're standing less than a foot away? I don't think Shepard knows how to talk to people. That was cool. Coming back to get you. Negative! It's too late for us! There's just too many of them! I'm activating the nuke! Oh! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belayda, we can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams! Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Oh, this is gonna suck for me. I mean, either way, I lose, so... I will say though, in Mass Effect 3, Ashley is a better, um, is not only a better character for dialogue, but a better combat character than fucking Kate. Come 
the hell on. Commander, you need to set the nuke and get out. We can't hold! Left flank, left flank! Suppressing fire! Suppressing... Well... Shit. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power, even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. Or? Or? But if we work with the okay. Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once At what cost? This, I joined Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. What if, if he's I just making you conduit, believe that? I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. No. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. You can try. Back here, you fucking silver surfer wannabe. Don't 
Don't grab there. All right, everybody, hang on. We made big boom. We made big fucking boom. This is what happens when you go across state lines to get the other I, fireworks that are I legal in your state. Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Elenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. Mm, I want to say it, but I'm not going to because I'm not that big of a dick. Wasn't call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm. I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Get it together, soldier. Caden's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. My patience for Al. Excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Oh, shit. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join? I don't want to see this again. You? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I just hate the cinematics so damn much. Incredible. I I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across oh, the Oh, back to the Empire. depressing ass music. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits on Ilos, that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Not like through. they'll just throw my fucking Commander face again. Shepherd, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, Ascension Machine. A true artificial intelligence, this news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. You're fucking kidding. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. I, I, at this point, I don't give a shit. Fuck them. I'm tired of trying to tell them. But, um, that being said... <laughs> To end on the most depressing of notes, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like, share it around. 
If you want to see more of my RPG or RTS videos or my 40k lore videos, subscribe. Check out my playlist. I have a bunch of different ones at this point. I'm starting a few new games. In fact, I just got a new game today that I plan on doing after, um, after I get settled in with a good rotation. That being said, I will see y'all tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.